Hey there, it's Dusty Thunder with another Reddit story for you again. This one again from AITA. But we're going to get some feedback from Tony Spark on this one. Holy cow. This one is titled, Am I the Astronaut for Sending a Venmo Request for Babysitter, Hotel, and Uber Reimbursement After a Dry Wedding? <laughs> I can't imagine why Tony would want to get feedback on this story. <laughs> I have thoughts. Yeah, I imagine you do. A friend from college got married this past weekend. The wedding was 45 minutes from my house, so my wife and I got a hotel room. We checked in, had a few pregame cocktails, and Ubered from the hotel to the venue. We sit down, and the wedding happens. It's beautiful. We go to our social hour, as it's called, and there is no booze. Turns out this was a dry wedding. There was no indication that this was a dry wedding before showing up. I checked the digital version of the invite and website. Nothing indicating this. I'm pissed for a few reasons. I might not have RSVP'd if I knew this. I'm pissed I blew a few hundred bucks on a hotel for the night, babysitters and Uber. I'm like, what the f***? Other friends that were there grumbling and felt similar to me. The night went on and the wedding was fine, but honestly a bit of a bummer. Now that my wife and I have kids, nights like this are rare. And I was pumped to do something. So we dipped out a bit early and went out. Other friends rolled with us. We left in the middle of the dancing time and didn't stay for the exit. Later that night, I sent a Venmo request for the cost of a babysitter, hotel, and Uber. Yesterday, I heard from my college buddy. He was like, what the f*** is this, asshole? I explained I was mad that this was a dry wedding. The bride had family that were alcoholics, so they opted to not have alcohol as an option. I told him that was need-to-know information. Not informing us of that cost me and our other friends a lot of money. He said I should have asked him and not assumed it was a wet wedding. I said to him, alcohol is a default option. If you change the default, you tell people. He disagreed with that notion. I said, you drink, why would I think it's dry? We went back and forth for a while. He still thinks I'm an asshole. Am I? And here to give some feedback on this wonderful story is the one and only Tony Spark. Let's get an introduction going for him now, shall we? Ladies and gentlemen, Tony Spark! I have some thoughts on this. I'm going to be honest, I have some thoughts, and maybe maybe you guys think of the reaction that I'm going to give would be that OP is not the asshole. But let's get into that. First off, a dry wedding is an unfortunate event, I'll be honest. Like... I get it. If you want to have a dry wedding, that's great. You probably, like I've been, to, let, me, let me give you a little experience. I was in a wedding, one of my best friends, and it was going to be a dry wedding. And we were all very confused by this dry wedding because his family drinks, her family drinks. They're both Catholic. Most of y'all know how that goes. So we were like, we we're excited for the wedding and the party and blah, 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 blah. And he's like, oh, it's going to be a dry wedding. And the reason why it was a dry wedding is because uh, it was at a venue that did not allow alcohol because it was a, it was a venue that the, that is his bride to be wanted to be fair. Me and my best friend offered to pay for alcohol for the entire wedding. And we found him a venue and that they were going to give him a venue for free. Didn't change whatever, but they were super cool about it. Cause they were like, Hey, it's a dry wedding, but uh, the venue has even said like, you just can't drink in the building. Keep in your car. He, our groomsmen gifts were like little yetis with our names on them and stuff. And then, with booze in him and all that. And it's taken care of. And that's fine. Uh, I think what OP did here is kind of an asshole move. I think that uh, I understand being upset if it's, uh, I understand being upset that it was a dry wedding. Cause I'll be honest, it makes weddings less fun. I get it. I know that you do like, you don't have to drink to have fun, but that's the best part of a wedding. Like, I'm not going to go to the wedding for the mushy doves flying flowers and people standing up like, it's great. You love each other. Fantastic. That's amazing. Happy for you. It's Super. A it's a celebration. Life. It's a celebration of your love and it's happy and it's beautiful, but let's wrap it up and go to the party because that's when everybody has fun. You don't have fun sitting there in the church. So you want to go have fun. But um, yeah, I don't think, uh, Dusty, you said I would say that OP was not the asshole, but I think this is NASCON 2 move. Whoa. Because I... Even though it's a dry wedding and you may be disappointed to send a Venmo request to the groom and be like, listen, your wedding was boring and I didn't like it. So I'm going to need you to go ahead and pay for me having to be there. Like, that's a dick move. Agreed. That's a dick move. So, OP, what you should have done is you just take an Uber. That's fine. But you know what you should have done? Just drive your car there. Put a cooler in the back of the car. Get together with some of your other friends. Maybe, okay. one, maybe, maybe one yeah. of the other friends. He's saying he took an Uber to the 
deal. Maybe one of his other friends didn't. Whoever was driving there, pack a cooler. You guys go out in the parking lot, have a few beverages back and forth in between. No big deal. I'm sure the groom honestly probably wouldn't have cared. They would have rather you did that than send him a Venmo request and be a dick on their wedding yeah. day. Like, they he don't want to deal with that. He did it later that night, so he, you know he was blitzed when he was like, you know what? I'm going to send that for a Venmo request right now. I mean, it's going to be for the babysitter. I'm going to say, hotel. I would have done it maybe as a joke, but I don't think yeah. this guy was joking. But there's, there you go. That's a great, that's a great comment. There's other ways to elevate that aren't alcohol. Could have taken that, gone Uber to the wedding, still had a great time and not had a drop to drink. But listen, I'm, <laughs> I'll probably go to the wedding if it's a drive. It's not a deal breaker that I'm not going to go to the wedding. I'm not going to have fun. I'll be honest. Wait, wait, so how, okay. Like I'm just not going to have fun. Uh, Google Queen Cat, they didn't know it was dry. Yeah, we're, we're aware. It, I think it's how he handled that information. Instead of just going out and partying with the buddies and being like, yeah, that blew. It's the Venmo request. The Venmo yeah. request. Somebody says a dollar as a joke, sure, but not the real price. Yeah, that would have been funny. I think that would have been funny. And it have been like, yeah. here, you're buying me a drink because I'm at a bar now because you had a dry wedding. So, but yeah, no, it was a dick move. Uh, dick move by OP here. I I, uh, I mean, you can give him shit. I mean, I would. we gave our buddy a lot of grief for it, and he just played right along with it, and it was fine. And his, his bride was played along with it. He played along with it. We had a great time. I even, funny story at that wedding, we're all there, pretty much everybody at this wedding, most of them are Catholic, especially on his side, all of our friend group, we're all there, and this is kind of like a, I mean, we're kind of all sitting around twiddling our thumbs at the wedding. Now, granted, while we were getting ready for the wedding, we went to the bar early, we had- They pre-gamed too, though. We, we pre-gamed, pre we pre-gamed, we had a cooler in the, behind the church, we, it was a whole thing. So we go to the wedding and we're out there at this outdoor thing. Of course, you got to go take all the pictures and all that stuff, which is not fun when you're not drinking, taking f photos in the woods and dressed up in suits, all of that, whatever. So um, we're standing there with the priest who we all know really well. And I went to him, I said, hey, Father Jay, what's the chances of like a water and a wine miracle at this wedding? <laughs> and he was like, well, he's like, I'm afraid that's a little above my pay grade. <laughs> I was like, well, I tried, but. Respect, respect. Yeah, so OP. Holy cow. Ask on too. You guys thought you guys thought I was gonna come out here and just completely say like and I'm not saying you have to have alcohol to have fun, but you know, again, a little if you would have just had a little heads up, maybe I beg my finest pardon, I was wrong. A little a little heads up would have been good. Then he could have properly prepared for the wedding. Like that's the thing. We knew it was a dry wedding going into it. We were prepared. We knew what to do. The, the bride and groom made sure that we had everything we needed to have a great time. And we had a great time. But yeah, don't have a dry wedding. <laughs> don't have a dry wedding. Don't have a dry wedding. Oh.